Hey guys, what's up? It's VGA322 here, back with our next Let's Play, which is going to be... Well, as you can tell, you know, from the text, a Metroid game, other than the fact that it showed the airship. Uh, but we are going to be playing... Just give it a sec here. Personally, my favorite handheld Metroid game. Uh, we are going to be playing Metroid Zero Mission. Now, why is it my favorite, you may be asking, or, you know, not, you may not be asking that, but, um, it's a hit, uh, personally, personally, I like it, because as far as I know, it's a remake of the original Metroid game with a few minor variations, of course, and, um, yeah, you know, but, um, anyways, we're gonna do this, and I have been, I've been, I have been playing it lately, which is the reason I'm choosing to LP it. Um, which is going to make these early segments really awkward because obviously I'm uh, I've, I've been playing it so I'm a lot farther in the game and I'm so used to having the power-ups and these early parts are going to be uh, fairly annoying for me because I'm going to be taking a lot of damage and I'm not doing enough damage so um, uh, you know how it is. Bam! Alrighty, onward. Now, let's see, where are we here? Uh, I can't even shoot high enough to hit them, that sucks. We have a Kazo artifact here! Are, Kazo, are they Kazos in this game? Um, I'm not 100% sure to be honest. Someone told me that actually. Uh, go figure, it's one of my favorite Metroid games and I don't know a lot about it. But I know they're, they're uh, the Kazo Rune, the artifacts in um, Metroid Prime. And they are not the Kazo artifacts, they're the Zebes, 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 I can't remember how it's pronounced, but, um, I mean, you know. Why am I saving? Great question. Uh, I'm saving because I feel like it. And, yeah, I'm using an emulator. Shoot me, sorry. Um, but, you know, uh, I don't have a Game Boy player, unfortunately, and once again, you know, I don't have a, uh, I don't have a capture card or anything. If I had a capture card, I would be playing either Metroid Prime or Luigi's Mansion right now. Because Metroid Prime is, uh, is actually my favorite Metroid game out of the entire series. Uh, the first Metroid Prime. I didn't really like 2 all that much. And personally, I haven't played Corruption only because I only got a Wii, uh, recently. Uh, a few months ago. So, uh, I haven't really had a lot of time to go out and get it. Although, I have briefly played Other M, and everyone who talks about it, they're always like, Oh yeah, Other M's really, really bad. And, uh, I agree completely. I didn't like Other M at all. Now, not to say that, um... You're not allowed to like it. I'm not that... Oh, I already have full health. Uh, I'm not that kind of person. I'm not going to be like, Oh, I don't like other M, so you're not allowed to like it either. But, um... Personally, I just... I find it, it changed too much about the game for the game to be enjoyable, in my opinion. Not only the fact that Samus talk, but this is the first game... I think? Yes. This is the first game where she does talk, and she's really, really whiny. And she's all like, oh, I've been through this, and I've been through that, and no one's here to help me, and it's just really, really annoying. And I'm sorry to the people who like it, but just being a fan of, like, the old games, I can't really get into it. I'm sorry. Um, but I, I just don't feel the same way. I'm, personal opinion, sorry. Anyways, as you can see, we have this friggin' thing here, and I hate these things, because they're so much easier to kill later on. Well, when they only take, like, one shot instead of, like, a million shots. Anyways, we have our next place we have to get to, which is way off the map from what we have right now. Um, but yeah, anyway, full, full health. Uh, what was I saying? Right, uh, Metroid Prime. Um, Metroid Prime is my favorite game in the series. Uh, personally, first-person mode, n not to say, like, I'm a first-person person. <laughs> Funny how that one worked out. But, uh, I really, I'm not a first-person person. Uh, but, uh, Metroid Prime being in first person, uh, I believe Metroid Prime was the first 3D Metroid game, correct me if I'm wrong. But, um, I just thought it was a terrific game. 
I'm gonna go to the bottom. Yeah, bottom. I'm going to the bottom first. I'm gonna try and get the charge beam in this part. Because it will make this game, well, the beginning at least, so much easier. And we have missiles! Hooray! Now, missiles open... Dang it. Missiles open uh, red door hatches. I can't go over here yet because I didn't have bombs. I fell. Get out of there. You're going to die. No, get out of there. You're going to die. All right. Let's continue. Uh, I completely stopped what I was talking about. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> but, uh... Bam. Bam. I didn't even see that coming. I completely zoned out and I didn't notice it. Yeah, dead fish in your face. And we got the charge beam. Hurrah. Now, don't worry if you uh, miss defeating this boss uh, later uh, Later on. It does come back. I want the health. Uh, it does come back, so don't worry about that. It's not like you can skip getting the charge beam or something. Uh, so you don't have much to worry about. Although, personally, I find that, especially once I get, like, the wave beam and all that, I really don't use the charge beam that much unless I really have to. Now, don't get me wrong, there is actually one part where I do have to use the charge beam. It's one of the bosses, and it just ends up getting really, really repetitive. But, um... Actually, it's not even a boss. It's, like, a sub-boss. So... It's a sub-boss, and it gets really repetitive because I have to basically spam missiles at it. And no, I'm not talking about Ridley, but I do spam missiles at Ridley, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but I have to- oh, dang it, I didn't mean to fire those. Um, but yeah, it gets really repetitive, uh, because I missile spam and then I have to still use stuff to- oh, dang it, they're still coming after me. And then I still have to charge beam in order to, uh, in order to finish off the, uh, thing. But, it gets really repetitive. I don't know how I'm going to go about that part yet. Uh, I may not necessarily skip over it, but I'll basically show the strategy and then just skip to pass the battle, like once I defeat the thing. But don't know how that's going to work out right now. And even still, that's a while from now, so I'm not really going to worry about it all that much. Uh, I can't do that yet. So let's just continue. We have, I believe it's down here, yep, we have a missile tank upgrade. Bam! Oh, I didn't look up quick enough. And we also have an energy tank. Which is going to increase our health by 99. Which is good, because I just... Ah! 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 Tell him the lava. <laughs> okay. Ah! Dang it, I can't jump! Alrighty, where are we? We're supposed to be going up, correct? Yes, we are. Oh... Dang it, though. No. I'm gonna go down. Map station? Map station. There we go. Alrighty, we're gonna get the map. It might make this a little easier for me. Uh, oh no, okay. Uh, I thought it was a different one. Um, you guys may have seen it on the map there. Uh, not the one we're going to, but there is one above it that is much later. I thought that was this one, and I know that one you have to come from from the other side. So, I was just being cautious. Anyways, coming in here, yes. And ow. Dang it. And <laughs> we have a save station over here. Actually, I'm not going to get this right now. I'll grab it on the way down instead. There. Now we got to come up through here. And if I'm correct, we're going to be getting more fall bombs here. Missile. Bam! Yeah, we're definitely getting the bombs here. Alright, we have uh, bombs for the Morph Ball now. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to head into the back. I don't really need help. We're going to head into the back here and we're going to get a missile tank. Yep, getting a missile tank. And normal strategy as far as bombs are concerned. Uh, until later where we actually get an upgrade where we can uh, use the... Uh, Sorry, we, we can jump in Morph Ball form. Um, we have to use bombs in order to jump uh, as long as we have the Morph Ball. So what we're going to do now is... Uh, I can't get out of there yet, can I? Uh, hate this part. Bombs, kill it. Die. You parasites. Let's get out of here. 
Uh, you do have to kill all of them in order for the door to open. Uh, just something you have to do, you know. Anyways, saving. Don't, don't jump, save. Save complete. State rating. And running through enemies. Because, you know, running through enemies is definitely the best idea. We can't go farther up. Didn't want to do that. Wanted to go through the door. But, you know, that works too. And we're going to be heading back this way. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. It's not going to happen, is it? Okay. Alrighty, so we are back. And we're going to head down this way. I'm probably missing a bunch of stuff back there, but uh, it's okay. I'm going to skip it for now. And we're coming through here. Oh, I hate these things. They're just so random. They just hit walls and bounce off. And we have our next thing, which actually isn't really indicated on the map. But you gotta go to it. Oh no, it is indicated on the map, isn't it? No, yes, yes, yeah. Anyway, it's telling us to head down to Norfair, which we are now going to do, if I can remember how to get... Oh, I remember how to get there. Um, and I think we can do it in this part. Maybe, maybe not. Um, anyways, we're gonna head down to Norfair now. Ah, they're back, they're back, they're back. Just keep running. Keep running, Samus. Don't worry. Take some damage. Alrighty, let's get up here. Ah, dang it. No, 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 go up. Oh, freaking beetle thingies. Hate them. And we've got to do this again. This part's so boring. Just spamming. You know what? Charge beam. Didn't do anything because I hit a freaking creature. Alright, there's one. Don't got to worry about the second one because we can just drop down. Alrighty, let's get out of here. It's right here. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, I don't want to do that part right now. Uh, it's fairly simple. It's just a lot easier later, and I can't get out of here because these things won't let me. Alrighty. What am I doing here? Uh, yeah, got to go back just a little bit more. Nope. Uh, yeah. Yeah, all the way to the bottom here. When I say all the way to the bottom, I mean to the first door, which I think is at the bottom. Which it is. And we gotta come past here. Yes? Yes. Okay. Now, I don't know how to do this. Maybe someone can tell me. Uh, where are you? There's an energy tank up there, and I have no idea how to do it. I don't think I can bomb jump it, and I don't know how to get it, so if someone wants to leave a comment and tell me how to get that, it would be really appreciated. Anyways, we're coming down here because we are going to go to Norfair. Bam! Going down. Crade! What? Ugh. Oh, that's not where I wanted to go. Man. Oh well. Well, we're in Crade. It's, it's totally where I was supposed to go. It's where it told me to go. I'm so confused. Oh, right. Slack's up here. We're supposed to go to Norfolk. Where's the... Oh. Okay. All right. Well, I messed that up. Um, but for now, guys, uh, we're just going to end it off here. Next time, I'll not... I'll get out of crate. I'll actually go where we're supposed to go. <laughs> but uh, until next time, this is VGA322 signing out. Hope I'll see you all then. Peace out.